Good evening. Section 10 Sports will be reviewing a play. One a veteran North Country referee says is the most violent action he has seen on a lacrosse field in his 20 plus year career. It caused a player to lose consciousness briefly in Saturday's game between Ogdensburg and Malone. 7 News reporter Mark Mason Jr. live with us. He spoke with the injured athlete and his mom. Mark, what are they telling you? Jeff, Landon Pearson is the player who fell to the ground. He says he blacked out for a quick moment after the incident. He still suffers headache days after his injury. Landon's mother plans to take action off the field, so as she puts it, another child doesn't have to have this happen to them. The video of the play, recorded by NFHS Network, is posted on Bethany Berkman Pearson's Facebook page. Ogdensburg Free Academy against her son's team, Franklin Academy. A common skirmish for the ball between players. But then one OFA player appears to wind up and take a swing at Landon Pearson. Pearson falls to the ground for 30 seconds. He says he blacked out briefly, suffering a concussion. You know, across, you know everybody's going to at least hit you in some way or form. But if you look in the video, I was completely turned around. I couldn't see number seven at all. And then I just ended up with a cross stick to the back of my head. I mean, it wasn't something I could, like, protect myself from. It was just bam. In our interview with Landon and his mom, the lacrosse player tells us he's out of school this week, recovering. So they took me out of lacrosse, obviously. Um, I can't like, it just hurts to like even spin around. I can't like turn around in a 360 circle because I'll get this rushing pain. <laughs> According to the Pearsons, the opposing player received a five day suspension. But Bethany wants more. We'd like to see him be charged with assault because what he did was intentional and it was deliberate and swinging a lacrosse stick as a weapon. He knew at that point that it was going to cause an injury. The family has already contacted the police and are pursuing charges. They also hope to have the OFA player banned from Section 10 sports. We'd just like to see him held accountable so that another child doesn't go through what ours is going through. In a statement, Section 10 tells us it recognizes the seriousness of this incident and it could go to the Sportsmanship Committee for review, adding the school district has its own separate process, which it is following. And Section 10 can't comment any further. We also reached out to the Ogdensburg School Superintendent to either speak with him or the athletic director. Jeff, we haven't heard back. Mark Mesa, Jr., thank you.